This week, we're continuing the adventure of my wife's biggest custom furniture build to date. This project is massive, and as you might expect, there have been plenty of ups and plenty of downs. No! It's not long enough. But this week, Andrea is pushing hard for the finish line, so join us for the adventures of my DIY wife and her non-handy husband. Before we get started on today's project, we want to pause and say thank you to Soundcore for sponsoring today's video. They recently sent us the Motion X600, which is a compact but high quality wireless music speaker. This speaker is designed to make your favorite music come to life and sound like it's being played live in your home. Soundcore uses high resolution spatial sound engineering to create an immersive listening experience and a very wide soundscape. They accomplish this by having multiple speakers built into the X600, which creates not just a mono or even a stereo effect, but a three-dimensional spatial sound experience, which is more like a surround sound effect than a typical stereo effect. This little speaker also packs a punch as it offers 50 watts of bold, loud sound that's distortion free. So here's what a song sounds like played from the built-in speakers on my phone. And here's what that same song sounds like played from the Motion X600. Obviously this thing is completely portable so you can take high quality music with you anywhere in the house. You can use it around the house to have music on while you cook, clean, or relax. You can use it to help motivate you on that next project you're working on. And you can also use it for white noise to help with a good night's sleep. So thanks again to Soundcore for sponsoring today's video. And if you're interested in getting your hands on the X600, then be sure to check out our link in the description below. Ready. We're ready, Freddy. I tell you what. Ready to hopefully finish this cabinet. I'm ready to get it done. Wait, what is this? Oh, it's a dead dove. Don't get a close up shot of it. Well, Perfect. poor guy. He needs a eulogy, babe. Danny Dove was a valued member of our community. He ate our bird seed. He pooped on our roof. And best of all, he made wonderful sounds while sitting on the telephone wires. Danny, you were loved and you'll be missed. Hey, inside. what are you doing over here? I want to see my one finished one inside. Oh, use that foot maneuver. You're really good at that foot <laughs> technique. How are you feeling about the color? It looks good. It looks marvelous. Let's go um, keep staining. We got to get these stains so we can go to the glass, please. Go, girl. We got a lot of work to do. I'm remembering that I'm not just staining. I've got all the edge banding, and then I've got to build a base and go get crown molding. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna finish this week. <laughs> It'll be a miracle if we do. Do you want to get the bird? No, or? <laughs> no, I don't even know if I can watch you do it. <laughs> no, don't come close to me with it. I'm serious. I have a present for you, ma'am. No avian flu for me, man. I'll wash those hands. All right, it's a new week. First thing up is finishing staining these doors. Since we didn't get to finish it last week, we ran out of time, ran out of good weather, but it is beautiful today. We're gonna try and get these stained fast so we can take them to the glass door, hopefully today. But like everything else with this project, this is taking you a never long time. Know, huh? This is taking a long time. I'm like, there's four of these and they're huge. We're gonna go for it. No, let's go for let's it. Go for it. time-consuming process having to get into all the little routed details in the front and back but it was so exciting to finally see the color going on 
Oh, sweatshirt's coming <laughs> off. Looking Get cute. Off. Door number two down. Yeah. Yeah, baby. I was so glad I did that mitered that miter detail. I feel like it totally changes it. That's what I was thinking. It's gonna look more like some kind of cool antique. Numero tres. Si, señor. One more. Una más, no? One more. All done? Well, done with the doors. <laughs> nice. Probably the easy part. All right, before we leave and go to the glass door, I'm gonna measure the glass for these side panels since obviously we're not gonna take this whole thing in with us. We'll just install that ourselves. So I had already routed out that inside for these. So I'm just gonna measure and usually I give them a little bit smaller than the actual measurements. And then I also have to measure the radius of my rabbiting bit. They wanted that last time because they'll round the corners for you. But anyway, we're gonna get that real quick and then we are heading to the glass door. Perfect. Let us be along now. What? Shall we take a turn about the room? Can you hold these um, doors so I don't have to hold them? I on? got you, little guys. Uh, what are you doing now? Ordering lunch. Sounds like a plant. Take care of them now. Uh oh. A week and a half to two weeks. Ay, 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 senorita. That feels like a long time right now. So, because our doors are so big and they're floor to ceiling in a high traffic area in our house, we will probably get tempered glass. And they can't cut tempered glass here because she said if you cut it, it will explode because the whole idea of tempered glass it's like a windshield when you hit it and it shatters into small pieces instead of having big shards it's safer so that feels like the better option you know so for now we're off to lunch We picked a beautiful day to be out and about, and when we finally made it back home, it was time to slow down and have lunch together. Wait, we're not ready yet. Oh! Now we're ready. What? what? You are so... What? I'll open yours for you. You're filming. You started eating without me. And friends of friends forever, if the Lord, the Lord of them. Finishing up lunch with something fancy, huh? Like these bad boys. Mm. Give it a go. Mm. A little coconut, a little dark chocolate. That's muy delicioso, senor. Mm. All right, so we got the cabinet doors dropped off. We're ready to start on the bigger part of the cabinets. I think before we get started, we're gonna pull our tent out because it is getting hot. Up next, I've got some edge banding. We're gonna iron this on and then sand the whole piece, and then start painting. And that'll probably take me the rest of the week. Whenever I build with plywood, I like to cover up the edges with edge banding to give it a nice, clean, finished look. 
you mind if I got a close up <laughs> of you? Like, I have really a hot really iron, close. baby. You probably don't want to. You know what? I'm gonna back up. <laughs> just a bit. Side number two. Yep. All right, that's the edge banding on this piece. We're just gonna take it one cabinet at a time. So I'm gonna go ahead and sand all of the the raw wood next. That's what we're gonna do next. <laughs> Excellent. Beautiful. I'm working on not saying the next 10 steps. The next, next, For next the, thing? Just the next thing. Is that it? I think so. I'm gonna blow it off. All right, so I've got this piece sanded. I blew it off with the leaf blower. I'm gonna go ahead and tape off the white background. Even though I'm gonna be painting it, I still would rather not have to paint over the stain. So I'm gonna do a quick tape off and then I'm gonna stain all of the red oak. Once I finished taping off the back, I grabbed my brush and my can of stain and got to work. All right, I finally finished staining this cabinet. I'm gonna pull the tape off. We'll get move this one out of the way and then get the other cabinet in here. This first, like, oh no. Oh, it was so satisfying until that oh, moment. No. You're really ruining the, the shot. I'm you know? not, it's the tape. Tape, I'm you're like, really ruining the shot. Like, why would it do that? Does that make the efficiency loving side of you really angry? It is making my heart rate increase a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's like really stuck. Well, it's tape. If it didn't stick, it would be bad tape, you know? All right, now I'm really for real done with this one. So next we'll get it moved out of the way and do this all over again. You seem really How many times am I gonna say that in this project? This is a big cabinet, this is a big cabinet. Like somebody else planned this cabinet. Who made you do I'm this? I'm like, I wanna build a 10 foot cabinet. How about you help me take this inside? And then we can do the other one. Okay. That sounds about like you, yeah. Boy. <laughs> I can't get enough of these luchador masks. All right, so starting over step one, we're gonna put the edge banding on these plywood edges again. And if you've been around, you've seen me do this before, but basically if I ever build with plywood and have an exposed edge, this is a good way to just clean it up and make it not look like plywood anymore. So here we go. This feels like, oh wow, we're back to that again. Standing. I'm gonna blow it off real quick. It's time for the the most 
time consuming part of staining all this thing. Maybe I'll go faster now. Probably not though. After I finished staining the second cabinet, we let them dry overnight before we could move on to the next step. All right, Dean's gone. I convinced him to let me do a time lapse of painting the back of this. So first I'm gonna tape off all the parts that I stained and then I've got my little quart of paint in the color Neutral Ground by Sherwin-Williams. Hopefully I like it and hopefully a quart is enough. We'll see. And it wasn't long before I had a couple of helpers show up for a painting lesson. Do you wanna grab a paintbrush? Do you wanna do this? Yeah, sure. Okay, and just go up and down like that. Just go up and down. Okay, we finished painting. I did a second coat, kind of some with and then some without my little helper so I could make sure I had everything really covered. They were actually great though. That was really fun. But I'm gonna pull the tape off really quick. It looks good. There's a couple of little spots where I can see it leaked under. After I finished painting the back of the cabinets and Dean got home, it was time to make another supply run. Please, 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 autograph, autograph. Please, 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 autograph, autograph. Can I grab your bowie. Bowie. <laughs> Dude, come on. Climb in through the window. You, you are butthead. You know that? Oh, there's a girl. <laughs> <laughs> the neighbors are going to think I'm a lunatic climbing through the window. So where are we going? Play the song, babe. A no! low strip. A low strip. Every single day it's a low strip. So I've been having this thought, and I want to see what you think about it. That sounded weird. So I've been thinking about our minivan and wondering, is this the most viewed minivan in YouTube history? You think? How many other YouTubers have <laughs> made drive a minivan? <laughs> Maybe there's a reason for that because they're uber cool. Hey, you're taking a wrong turn. Just gonna let oh, you know that. Shoot. Where are you're you distracting going? Me. Where are we going? And where are we at now? Oh, you need to have a Walmart song. A Walmart trip. Walmart trip. We are now making our way across from Walmart to Lowe's. This has been quite the adventure. Thank you, babe, for making this morning so exciting. Aww. Carry me. I can try, yeah. Actually, just hop in this cart right here and I'll push you around. Here. I plan to make a base for the cabinet to sit up on top of, but needed to grab a couple of 10 foot 1x6s before I could get started on that. And of course, we had to use Andrea's patented wink technique to make sure these boards were straight. And after staining the whole outside portion of the cabinet, I realized I wouldn't have quite enough stain left to do all of the shelves, and so we grabbed another can. The heat is on. I love Rose music. The heat is on. Why are you so anti dancing and singing in public places? Anti. <laughs> Thank you so much, appreciate that. So after paying for everything and seeing our new running total for this cabinet, we were ready to load everything into the back of the minivan and hope for some more minivan magic. Did you get the paint? No, no. You almost broke our knob off up here. You can push it in further now. I think it's like a joke on him. I pushed the button. What happened? How did that not fit? I'm like, it didn't even hit the door. I pushed the button. I'm just... Ah! You are a meanie. All right, where are we off to next? Another home improvement store. Oh, great. Harlan? My favorite. <laughs> stealing my air. Well, one of us was standing outside for an extra long amount of time because someone thought it would be funny to say the door didn't work when it did. You should have let me go back to sleep <laughs> this morning. <laughs> what? I'm so You're tired and confused. I'm so tired. <laughs> Hey, isn't it so awesome how we have the one minivan in this parking lot in a sea of trucks? Truck, 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 minivan! What are you 
you looking for in here? So we're looking for red oak crown molding to go to the top of the cabinet because nobody else has that. They have it here. Can we fit that in our van? Maybe if we go out my window, I mean. Yeah, because that's four more feet. 14 feet, babe. But I'd love to see us try. After checking out and seeing our newly updated total for the cabinet, it was time to see if this 14 foot board would fit in the back of our minivan. Fishing it in. Thinking that it could possibly. Oh, no, it's not. We need your window down. Snaker in there. Perfect. How are you going to get in? That's a great question. I guess I'm riding in a car seat back here. Let me get buckled in, babe. Okay, just get in your seat. Pardon me, ma'am. And we're off. This is actually pretty comfortable, you know? All right, time for the clown car maneuver. Oh, it's a magic. Now for the Hulk maneuver. Oh, big boy. Ooh, press a flip there. All right, so Andrea's sending me on a mission to get lunch while she rests and gets ready to work outside. We need a little lunch break. What? Because I've been eating so strict, but my stomach's feeling really good, and I'm like, I'm just gonna have a sandwich. Mm. After lunch, we were ready to set everything back up and get back to work. All right, step one for today, since we've already gone and bought our materials, is to measure and then build the base for this piece, which instead of building two separate pieces, I'm gonna build one long base, and then it's gonna have a pretty kind of baseboard piece that covers that up. So our base is actually gonna be built out of two by sixes. Cause it's all about that base, right? I started out by measuring the cabinet again, and then grabbed some of my two by sixes to get started. Boards cut, so I'm gonna go ahead and put them together. Nothing fancy, I'm just using wood screws. After I finished building the 2x6 base, I grabbed Dean's help and we brought it inside to install it. This piece is gonna weigh about a thousand pounds when it's done. What is it? It's not long enough. <laughs> it's really frustrating. All right, so I'm not sure how I did this, but I didn't mean to make my cabinet more than 10 feet long, but I did. And my board to cover that bottom front is, is 10 feet. So it's a couple inches too short because I want to miter my corners. So what is so that now mean? I need to get another board. We don't have time to go get another board for it's time to give our kids. So I think this means we do crown molding instead. But this is what's going to go in front of that. But I'm going to route a little detail in there so it'll be kind of like a baseboard. It'll be stained the same wood color. It'll be pretty. It's just giving it a little bit more of a built-in furniture look. So we're moving on to crown molding? We're moving on to crown molding. So I'm getting ready to cut the crown molding for the top of the cabinet. And even though I have the Craig like crown jig, cutting crown molding at an angle like terrifies me. It just, it never feels like the crown molding is stable. And so if you've done that and you're comfortable with it, I, this is definitely like less math. But I just searched on YouTube how to cut crown molding flat. And I wrote down the angles 
33.85 and the miter is 31.65 so hopefully it doesn't matter if I'm exact we're, we're about to find out if this works <laughs> and I don't remember which is like a left and which is a right this can be a miracle if I don't ruin this board so if you have a rigid saw it actually has the little like notches where your miter and your bevel will stop at those angles that's kind of cool I don't I don't think I knew that birds we are filming Okay, I did it right. It was so much easier. After I cut the angle on the first side of crown molding, I grabbed Dean's help to hold the tape measure because this is a long piece. You're trusting me with this? Look, do you see, can you line them up? I'm getting really nervous though. Don't blame me if something goes wrong here. Cuidado. Look at that. All right, so this definitely worked. I'm so glad I looked it up because that just feels so much safer to me. Um, so I've got my long piece that goes across the front cut. I cut the end for one of my side pieces. I'm gonna make one straight cut and then hope I have enough for the other side. <laughs> Okay, we're ready to go nail this thing onto the cabinet. After testing out the front piece of crown molding, I realized I needed to trim off just a little bit more. Into the light. Okay, I'm actually gonna add a couple of nails to hold these two pieces together. I'll add screws later, but I just want it stabilized where I want it before I start attaching the crown mold. Okay, my top piece is kind of tilting a little bit too far, so I'm gonna use some tape to tape it to this one just to pull it a little bit and then glue it and then nail this to the side and I'll probably do that to both sides. All right, we got the crown molding on. We've got the main part of the base built. That means we're ready. Hopefully tomorrow we can go buy a longer board for the baseboard and get that installed and then stain these. We're so close. All right, I went and got a longer board. This one is 11 feet and these oak one by sixes are so expensive. It's like $75. <laughs> for this one board, so I better not mess up. Yeah, you better not. But before I cut this, so we're gonna work on finishing up the base of the piece today and then we can stain that in the crown molding. But instead of just installing a square kind of, it'll be kind of like a baseboard, I wanna add a routed detail that'll match the inside of the doors just to make it a little more fun. <laughs> Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing to the piece that I'm gonna use for the short size of the cabinet. All right, I have all three of these cut. I'm gonna give them a quick sanding, then we're gonna take them inside and hope that they fit. You're making me a little nervous. Over here. That it? Yep. Time for the moment of truth. Look at that perfect corner. What are you, some kind of pro? <laughs> All right, everything fits and it's so cool. It looks like a baseboard, which is which is what I wanted. And I feel like this is finishing off the piece. Getting really excited. I'm ready to stain it. But first I gotta nail it on. 
looks really good. I want to stain it. I love your uh, paint walking technique there. Yeah, it's a lot faster than taping it. Once I finished staining the base, I moved on to staining the crown molding and it was getting so exciting seeing this get so close to finished. It looks so good. Oh my, yeah, this is a good feeling. I think it looks even better than it did in my head. It looks so good. And it's not even like finished because I feel like that's what really does it is like when you have your shelves in there and then I get to actually put all my pretty stuff on them. I have like dishes that I haven't been able to put out. <sighs> it's gonna be amazing. It is. Well, amazing job this week. And there was a ton of progress made because this cabinet's so big, it's like, Everything you do takes extra time, but we're making some real headway and it's pretty exciting. Yeah, I feel like we got a little burst of energy this week, kind of being closer to the finish line and it is so exciting to actually see it start to look like what I see in my head, just getting everything stained and the doors, I actually got them attached. We are so excited to get glass next, hopefully next week, hopefully, hopefully it's not week. the week after that. But I can't install the shelves until we have those side glass panels in and so we are so close, but I'm so ready to like, get stuff into this cabinet and see it completely finished. So that's it for this week and join us next week as we hopefully have the final episode in this series. But who knows, we'll catch you in the next video. You're squatting again. Does squatting help you think? I don't know how to attach the shelves. Really? You know? No, I don't know. I need them to be sturdy because they're going to be holding a lot of dishes. That sounds like a problem for the DIY wife. You look like uber confident right now. How does it make you feel? A little uneasy, but <laughs> you know, I've seen you pull through so many times now. I trust you for sure. Well, careful sitting there like that for too long could uh, bring on a bowel movement. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> What are you looking at? I'm just kidding, you guys. We're friendly. We like being friendly, you know? One of our kids came in this morning and said, I think there's a bird sleeping on our driveway. <laughs> I was like, oh. That's what he was talking about, this guy right here. Okay, if y'all have kids, you understand this nonsense right here. What happened back here with the goldfish? Birds, take it easy. Mike, if you're gonna fight, go do it somewhere else.